What are you still doing here, old man? I'm gonna f you up. Don't get on Bob Odenkirk's bad side. That's the entirety of both text and subtext in the Better Call Saul star's new action vehicle, Nobody. And we're here for it. Give me the goddamn kitty cat bracelet! From his origins in sketch comedy to his dramatic work on Breaking Bad and its spin-off, Odenkirk's transition into a pissed-off, ass-kicking old man in the Charles Bronson Liam Neeson mold feels both unexpected and entirely appropriate. And it's just one of the many joys of this delightfully funny, deliriously violent action spectacle. Nobody stars Odenkirk as Hutch Mansell, a regular working stiff who feels boxed in by the predictable monotony of his work-a-day existence. A nice house where he keeps forgetting to take out the trash, a beautiful wife he rarely sees, and a job working for in-laws who don't particularly respect him all while occasionally popping in to visit his retired FBI agent dad. Now, it's a life of perfect suburban anonymity, but things quickly change for Hutch when two burglars break into his house in the middle of the night, prompting a confrontation and a quest for restitution. Before long, he's caught up in a series of cascading calamities involving Russian mobsters with millions of dollars at stake, exploding houses, and oh, so much blood spraying in oh so many directions. Who the f are you? Me? I'm nobody. Now, of course, it's not like the premise itself is anything new. When you think about it, the decent guy who's had enough subgenre has provided a fruitful vein for both serious and exploitation fare for everyone from the aforementioned Bronson and his storied Death Wish franchise to Michael Douglas and Falling Down. Now, it's a scenario offering easy, cathartic engagement as we place ourselves in similar situations and imagine what if. In that sense, Odenkirk is probably one of the most perfect actors in a while to inhabit these tropes, with his well-established everyman persona and rumpled appearance allowing for audience identification and, eventually, some genuine surprises as our presumptions are challenged. That the script is by John Wick writer Derek Kolstad will inevitably bring to mind Keanu Reeves' Invincible Assassin, but Odenkirk's very presence in the lead role and the very normalcy he presents serves as a visual reminder that this movie is doing something different. Instead, we're pulled into the character's headspace. The early montages depicting Hutch's everyday drudgery will have us relating to him even as we actually know very little about him. And the process of seeing our presumptions confirmed or challenged over the ensuing 90 minutes makes the experience fruitful, squeezing out a lot of twists even as it goes through what could have become some pretty rote paces. There are some superficial echoes in both content and tone of the recent Equalizer movies starring Denzel Washington, but unlike those films, there's a deftness of touch in Nobody as it balances satire with seriousness in a way that arouses genuine laughter at some of the situations without ever losing its grip on the actual stakes of the story. The filmmakers are in on the joke and want to welcome us in too. He looks like sh Dad. You should see the LA guy. Bob Odenkirk, action hero. Definitely wasn't something most of us probably expected in our lives, but it turns out it's exactly what was missing. His role here allows the actor another fascinating turn in an acting career fairly filled with them. Yes, it's gruesome and violent, but it's also wickedly funny and surprisingly poignant. And while those Keanu comparisons are always going to be there, nobody easily holds a candle to Wick. For more on Nobody, find out what Bob Odenkirk told us about how he became an action hero and watch this behind the scenes look at his training for the role. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you like to watch IGN.